So welcome everyone. I'm so excited to chat with you guys about the um, the new color color sheets new comp plan that is rolling out rolled out April 1st. Um, I've asked some of my top leaders to hop on and help me answer some of your questions. But first, I made some fancy slides for y'all um, so that we could go over some basics before we jump into some of the Q and A's. So let me share my screen so you guys can see my slides. And I'm just gonna go over those really quick and then I'll open it up for questions and let, and if you're a, one of my leaders um, and I maybe forget something that you feel is essential, feel free to unmute yourself and chime in. Um, so here we go. All right, so, so let's talk about the new comp plan. First, I'm gonna give a disclaimer. And that disclaimer is that we are all learning this too. So please be patient with us if we mess up or we don't know the answers. Um, this is like something new for all of us. And just because we're leaders doesn't mean we are experts. <laughs> that's my disclaimer. Um, but that's why I asked lots of my leaders to hop on in case I didn't know the answer or in case um, they didn't know we are better together. So now resources, you guys, the virtual office has so many good resources for you all. So there's there's info, there's videos, there's printables in the virtual office. So make sure you check those out. You just click on the resources tab, then click resources library, and then new comp plan resources to view and download them all. Here's a little screenshot of what they look like. There are a ton of resources. And that's what I've been referring to myself. Um, and these are some of the resources I'm gonna show you guys in these slides here. Plus we have our stylist launch guide. Um, I'm not sure if everyone got sent this. Did they send this to everyone or just, okay. Well, for those of you that got the stylist launch guide, um, there is the new comp plan is in here and there's some resources on here as well. So, um, so, but there also, but there is a digital version of the stylus launch guide in the virtual office too. So that's something to check out as well. Um, all right, so let's jump in with the Jumpstart Rewards program really quick. So the Jumpstart Rewards are changing. Um, they've actually lowered the qualifications, which is really great. So it's now, it's gone from 1000 PB to uh, 500 PB. And that is what you earn your first 35 days um, as a new stylist. This goes into effect on March 1st. So that it already went into effect last month. Um, when you hit that reward, you get $50 in US dollars and 65 in Canada um, for product credit. Second reward is, and this is your next 30 days, um, you, or if you sell 500 more PV, or 500 PV during that 30 day window, uh, day 36 through day 65, you'll get an additional $50 uh, US and 65 Canada in product credit. And then level three is 500 PV as well, day 66 through 95, um, where you can get an additional 50 or 65 Canada um, in product credit. And the other cool thing, you guys, is that if you are their enroller and you kind of help them get their jump starts, you also get a $25 um, US dollar, $32 Canada in product credit. So that's kind of cool. Um, is there anything I missed here, leaders, before I jump to the next thing? Okay, I'm moving on. Um, this thing, I want to encourage you guys to print this bad boy. This is in the back office. Um, print the compensation plan at a glance. This is what helped me, you know, when we first started Color Street almost five years ago, you know, this is the old one. I have this on my desk at all times so that I could refer to it and study it and memorize it. I want to encourage you guys to print it and start to memorize it. This is your way to really learn the comp plan and learn to strategize and, 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 and 
make the most of it so that you can make the most money possible, right? Um, so definitely, this, if you were to print one thing, this is the thing to print. And like I said, it's also in the stylus launch guide as well. So if you do have that, it's right here. But this is this kind of shows you the an overview of the whole thing. I'm not going to go over it all, but it just shows you all the requirements for each rank. Um, it shows you the the rank promotion bonuses. It shows you the level bonuses you get on your levels one through five. Um, it shows you the generation bonuses you can get once you hit director down here. And it shows you the build wide, build smart bonuses you can get once you hit national. Um, so I feel like for me, it kind of helps me to see the big picture. And uh, this, so this thing is, is gold. Make sure you print this, this off. And it also shows you guys the phases. So I'm gonna talk about the different phases really quick. So there is um, different phases. There's a marketing phase. So these are the first three um, ranks. And in this marketing phase, um, you can earn the commission is a little different than it used to be. So the start, it starts at 15% for any sales you get up to 299. So if you sell one penny on up to 299, uh, PV, you will get 15% commission on your PV. Once you hit the 300 mark, which is what we're calling, they're calling it, it's no longer bonus qualified, it's now called qualified, you'll get an additional 10% in commission. Um, so it'll go up to for a total of 25% here. And then as you hit 600 through 1,799.99, you'll get an additional 5% commission for a total of 30%. And then once you hit 1,800 or more in PV, you'll get an additional 5% for a total of 35%. So you start at 15% commission um, and you can earn up to 35% commission. So that's pretty sweet. Any comments on that leaders before I move on? Okay, so uh, the developmental phase, that is ranks. I'm just kind of giving you a glance of the different phases because I know that Color Street is going to use this terminology. So it's good to, to learn the terminology of the phases. So there's the development phase that when you hit team builder, senior team builder, team leader and senior team leader, you're in that development phase. And I'll go over each of these ranks in a minute here. Um, but that's kind of what that phase entails. And this is the phase where you actually do need to have um, someone in your downline. So, and I'll show you visuals of the rank trackers because I'm such a visual person. I'm sure you want that too. The next phase is the leadership phase. This is just kind of a, a snapshot of the phases really quick. Leadership phase is director, senior director, elite director, executive director, and senior executive director. Um, and it kind of shows you guys in one of the uh, guides from the, from the virtual office, it shows you each of the kind of expectations that Color Street has when you're in that phase. So if you're like, I don't know what I should be doing as a you know, director, it kind of breaks it, you know, spells it out and lists it out for you guys um, in that, uh, I can't remember the name of it, um, in that uh, guide. Um, <clears throat> so then the next phase is the leader, let's see, I did already, okay, already did leadership phase. The next phase is the directorship phase. Um, this is the phase that that I am in, this is uh, National Executive Director, Sapphire, you know, the gemstones phases, um, Ruby, Emerald, Diamond, and then they've added two more ranks <laughs> for us to work towards, um, two carat diamond and three carat diamond. And you can see here that the group volume goes up in all of these as you go up in rank, but your income also goes up with every rank advancement. So that's exciting. Um, all right, so let me show you the rank trackers. 
Um, quick, real quick, Color Street has not created one for um, the marketing phase yet, but they just, they are considering creating them um, for us. And so I think that's coming soon that they will create rank trackers for the marketing phase, which is um, the qualified, sty you know, stylist, qualified stylist, senior stylist, elite stylist. But I think they didn't create it because you didn't need a downline. So there wasn't much of a visual needed. But so I created just a slide to show you. Basically, to be a, be a qualified stylist, you need to sell, you need to uh, get 300 in PV. Um, and then for the next rank, and some of you may have already hit that, which is really exciting. It's fun to see uh, these rank titles going up throughout the month of April. You can check your current um, title in the virtual office. Um, and then the next one is senior stylist. Now, here's the thing. Don't get confused. Like, I want you to take all the ranks that we learned in the past, all the rank names, and just toss it at, toss it in the garbage because some of them, they have new rank names and they have um, rank names that were from the past, but the requirements are very different. So, um, what a senior stylist was in the past is very different than what a senior stylist is now. So it's important to try to learn the new names and the new qualifications of the, um, of the each rank. So senior stylist now needs to get, oh shoot, I meant to say 700 GV, not PV, my bad. Um, so it's 300 personal volume, that's what PV stands for. And then 700 GV, which means group volume. Um, now here's the thing. If you're the only one in your group, if it's just little old you, that's fine. You just need to sell 700 PV in a month to rank advance to senior stylist, which I love because, um, for many enrolling is a struggle. So this puts the control in your hands to get those sales. Um, elite stylist, your, you, your requirements are to be 300 PV. And then 1,250 in group volume. Again, no, you don't need anyone in your downline to get this. So the control is all uh, is all on you, or you can have someone in your downline and kind of split that group volume. So I really love that change they made. Um, all right, now, now for the rank trackers that Color Street created. Um, <clears throat> here's the one that is for team builder, and this is in the virtual office. This shows you that you need 2000 in group volume, which means you and your other, and the person in your downline, the stylist in your downline, that's the combined volume of both of you. And then your quality, you need a qualified stylist, meaning a stylist who has sold 300 PV in a, within a month. So you can see here the little like checklist at the bottom, check, check, check. Once you hit that, you will be a team builder. The next one is senior team builder. And I'm not gonna go through all of them, but um, just the marketing phase and the development phase are the, the ranks I wanted to show you, the rank trackers. Um, senior team builder is where you need um, a two, you see you need two legs, which means you need two stylists under you that are senior stylists, meaning that they have sold 700 in group volume. Again, that group volume can be all from them, or if they happen to have a stylist under them, then that can be split among them. Um, so that's a senior team builder is 3,250 in capped group volume. And then two of them have uh, at least 700, 700 GB. The next one is the senior, I gotta move this tab here. Okay. The senior team leader um, map. And now you see this one is a transition. So these dotted lines here are not required now during the transition phase. And the transition phase is from um, April 1st until the end of September. Is that correct? Leaders, am I right on that one? Um, let me know if I'm not. Speak up if I'm not, but I believe that's the dates that of the transition period. And so um, so you only need three legs during the transition period, but eventually you will need a fourth leg um, as a senior team leader 
and above. Um, so, so as a senior team leader, obviously you need a senior team builder here. You can see that. And then you also need two senior stylists who have 700 GV. Um, and then you need $10,000 10, in capped group volume. So you can see down here, here's the little checklist. And then eventually you're going to need that fourth leg. So that's something to be working towards um, because I want to say that this is the last month that you can um, place people as a team leader and above, wherever you want. Um, the placements are gonna be changing starting next month. And so if you're wanting to build a, a fourth leg, now is the month to really focus on that. Uh, okay, FAQs and Q&A. So I wanted to show you guys really quick. Let me show you, can you guys see my other, um, these other guides? This is the Color Street Planning Guide I was talking about. Can you guys? see that? Someone give me a, I don't see anyone. Hold on. Uh, Margaret, can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So there's just the planning guide that kind of shows you all the different phases and whatnot. Um, so you can print that off. This is what I wanted to go over. And I thought that I would um, ask each of my leaders that are on here to maybe take, to read one each of these sections on the FAQs. And then we'll open it up for Q&A from you guys. Um, so, Margaret, do you want to read the first paragraph here? Can you see it very well? Yeah, the where it says, when does the updated compensation plan go into effect? Yeah. All right, so the updated compensation plan will go into effect on April 1st. There will be a six-month transition period through September 30th. So our question has been answered. Okay. Okay. <laughs> During which some of the requirements will be reduced while stylists adjust to the new plan and rules. All right, cool. So that's when our uh, <laughs> transition period is. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, who, what other leaders are on here that wants to read the next one about leg, about requirements that will go away after the transition period? I can take that one. Okay, get it. Okay, girl. this is Trinity. Okay, which requirements are required during the transition period? Leg requirements to achieve a paid, uh, paid rank of senior team leader or above, only two lower rank legs are required instead of three. For example, to achieve a paid rank of senior team, is that senior team leader? Yeah. During the transition period, you need one senior team builder leg and two senior stylist legs. And then the leader points, the leader points rule does not apply during the transition period. And you don't have to worry about the leader points unless right. you're, what was the, who does that apply to? Was I that think it's senior exec and above, I think. Yeah, it's, right? it's like really high ranks. So many of you don't need to even worry about the leader points. Um, but the leg requirements, like I said, is, do you want to say anything about that, Trinity? No, I mean, I don't, I just put a piece of bread in my mouth. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. So yeah, just, just be building. I think it's going to be important that we do focus on building that fourth leg because you're going to need it as a senior team leader and above in October. Um, Can I, I will say something I love in the back office, how they are showing us the view of both the transitional uh, period and where you're at now. So I love that they're giving us that little headshot and like, yes, I might be qualified as this now, but if we were out of transition period, I would still need, you know, X amount or whatever. So keep an eye on those two comparisons and see what you're lacking um, because you don't want to waste time when that transition period ends and not have what you need in place. Right. Yeah. I love the, um, I would really recommend if you don't typically watch the virtual office very much. I want to encourage you guys to look at it this month and kind of see as like check your commissions. I've been checking my commissions often because I'm curious to see how they're changing throughout the month and to see, um, you know, the differences between our previous commission commissions versus now. So click the link on the commissions link and kind of watch how it changes throughout the month and 
the different options that are available. Um, and also, I love that we have the color code. We have the color codes, but it also says their their time, like their initial. I really love that one because I I especially where we have so many more ranks now, it's gonna be hard to memorize all the colors. But it will say like yes, you know, elite stylist in the corner of their of the tree graphical tree view. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna go over this part. Is kind of this is just an example of explaining eligibility for the build fast pay more bonus. Does anyone want to touch on the build fast pay more bonus? Any leaders? Um, I'm going to, I feel like that's something y'all can read. Um, I feel like it's just really long. So we're going to move to the next paragraph. Uh, the next one says, when did this jumpstart program go into effect? I already mentioned that March 1st. Um, let's talk about career titles. Who, which leader wants to cover career titles? Amanda Yoakum. Well, all right, let's do it. <laughs> let's go. Okay. What is a career? A little bit like, see, Kelly, this is like my third grade nightmare. Just come in and the teacher says, can you read? I'm like, oh, Lord, I'm sweating. <laughs> Anyway, oh, well, you got this. Okay, what's what is a career title? <clears throat> the career title is a stylist recognition title used for marketing purposes, such as business cards or when the stylist introduced at a color street event. The career title is also used to determine generations for the upline. Rank qualifications and commissions are still calculated based on paid rank. So this is, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, but this, I believe like every month you have to once again, like earn your rent. You have to like hit your rank again to be paid on that rank. But your career title for, I believe it's six months, lets you be, um, you have that title. So even if one month you may not hit that rank, you're still that title for the next six months. And then it could change. Not meaning you'll get paid on it, but that'll be your career title. Is that correct? That sounds right. Although the next part, now I'm going to read the next part and I want, I want our leaders to interpret it because I was like, oh, this kind of changes things a little because it says team leaders and below, it looks like your career title is the highest paid rank they have ever achieved beginning with April. So this month is the month that determines right. your career title, you guys. But I wasn't sure if it was saying, because then the next paragraph says senior team leaders and above it's the highest paid rank you achieve in a rolling six month period. So I'm wondering if that only applies to senior team leaders and above where it's stayed for six months. That was the part I was like, hmm, I'm not sure on that one. Does anyone know, any of the leaders know? I do not. Like I said, we don't know all the answers. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not quite sure, but I'm thinking it's not. So, because the senior team leader is the one that the career title is important because it creates the generation. Mm -hmm. So, even if the leader, um, so say for instance, like you, you have a, a senior team, if you have a senior director, right, and they have a senior team leader underneath them, and they hit that senior team leader, right, they're going to keep that that rank for six months, that career title, that senior director gets paid that generational bonus, even if they don't keep the rank. Right. So that's why it's important for team. Yeah. So I don't think that it's, uh, stays for team leaders and below, right? Yeah. Team leaders and below. I don't, I don't believe that it stays there, but for senior team leaders and above, it should say that your career title will be that for six months, whether you keep it or not. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that then, makes sense. I I'm had to like think sure, of like the ranks. <laughs> and I'm pretty, yeah. And if some of this is going over your head, that's okay. You guys, mm -hmm. we're all like, we're all taking it in. And it's just like, the more you learn about it, the more it'll start to make sense. And the more that you're seeing it in the virtual office, the more you're applying it, like the more, it, but that's why you want to memorize this bad boy, because then you're like, what is she talking about when it comes to generation bonuses? And that applies to um, once you're a director, you can start, you start earning money off your generations. And a generation is anyone who's a senior team leader. So 
that's so once you're like a, a director you're going to want to learn more about generations if you're not a director it doesn't apply to you so um I think it's just important to kind of learn the things that apply to you and and then you'll learn as you go with the rest of things um okay and then it says how will we determine the starting career title when the new comp plan comes into effect um this one I want to make sure everyone understands this says when April commissions are finalized each stylist April paid rank will become their new career title and this is something that we just discovered in um I think it was the senior director chat for team nailed it someone was like I think that also will be the title that you have at conference so I just want to make sure everyone's clear that the work you do in April is going to be the title you have at the color street conference in august so make sure you're making april count that's also going to be your career title um if you're a senior team leader and above that will be your career title for the next six months from may through october so make sure again april's a big month it's a big deal so uh just wanted to make sure i pointed that out um, we do have promotion bonuses. I wish I had a graphic to show. Do any of you leaders have a graphic to show like the, the promotion bonuses? Um, I didn't really find one in the virtual office, but you do get bonuses as you rank advance. Um, let me see if I can, uh, they're like cash bonuses and I can't find them anywhere. But there are cash bonuses that I want to make sure you also know about um, that apply to, I believe it was like the development phase. I believe it was development phase where you get like cash bonuses. Kelly, it was on that, it was on one of your slides, was I it? believe. Yeah, if you go back to like the the one at a glance, I believe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. So do you see that like right before the level ones, like it says rank promotion bonuses one time. Oh, okay. so almost right where your cursor is. Okay, let me let me make this bigger so you all can see it better. Okay. There you go. That's why I love the at a glance because it literally has all the answers. <laughs> so yeah, rank promotion bonuses one time. Now I have a question for the leaders. Is this only during the transition period or is this always the case? I've heard it's part of our comp plan. Like it's, it's not going away. That's what I thought too. And yeah, same time. time. Okay, so this is not just during the transition period. This is always, but this is pretty sweet, you guys. So if you started out, um, you know, if you're, if you are, I believe that your starting point was determined, correct me if I'm wrong, wrong leaders, but I believe your starting point was determined in December. Um, it was your rank in December, January, and February. Is that correct? I believe yeah. it's highest rank. Your highest rank. Your during highest rank between those three months. Three yes. Months. So mm -hmm. let's say your highest rank during December of 2021 and then January of 2022, February of 2022. Let's say your highest rank was senior stylist. Then you, you don't qualify for the senior stylist, um, but you would qualify if you rank advanced to elite stylist for that $100 U.S dollar and 130 Canada dollar um, bonus. So that's really sweet. So as you guys make sure that you understand these sweet bonuses you can get. And then the next one is if you um, rank advance again, there's some people that are double, triple rank advancing this month. Let's say you rank advance again to team builder, you get an additional 200, right? And these are, so like you'll get a hundred and then if you rank advance again in this month, you'd get another, you'd get an additional 200. Am I correct leaders? Right. 
Okay, so look at all these bonuses, all these like cash bonuses that you can earn on up to. If you hit senior team leader, you're gonna earn $600 cash bonus in addition to, you know, just it's all it's all based on where you started and then you'll get those cash bonuses so that's something you want to know as a leader to help your newbies or your lower lower levels or if you are you know in this marketing phase development phase you can earn some of these cash bonuses so make sure that you know this and that you're working towards your next cash bonus all right. Um, that's something we really wanted to focus on. Um, okay, so I'm going to open it up. I haven't been able to look at the chat here. I am going to um, open it up to, yeah, so Shannon just said it's up to $1,650 if you earn all of them, which is sweet. Like, this is such a cool program for our new stylists. That's what I, I'm like so stoked for all the shout outs that we're going to be doing at the, like at the beginning of May, because of all the people who, who will be rank advancing and, um, and earning these cash bonuses. It's so exciting. Uh, so make sure that you guys know that, um, let's open it up for questions in the chat. So if you guys have questions, we're going to open it up for questions and, and then answer those. So, um, Margaret, it looks like you just answered. Margaret, will you read Rachel's question and then answer it out loud? Yeah, sure. So she said, is highest title in December, January, February based on the title in the previous comp plan, which yes. And do we take our volumes for December through February and convert it to the new plan? So no, just the December, January, February is to figure out what bonuses you're eligible for. So, um, and it's the highest title so if you actually go into the VO, um, let me just, I'm just gonna go into mine so I can walk you guys through like where you can find that super easy. Um, so you know how you can go into like your organization, you go to your graphical tree, click on you, your person. <laughs> if you go to volumes and it'll say periods, it'll say all periods, change that to monthly periods. And then just look at December, January, February, whatever your paid rank was. So you look at that. If you were a director, then you're not going to get, oh, yeah, if you were a director, you don't get any bonuses. But if you were a team leader, you get the um, senior team leader bonus. If you I'm, I'm working backwards here. So yeah. <laughs> senior stylist, I believe, gets like the 100 through 600, and then the stylist gets all of them. But that's just an easy way to look to say, okay, what was my title for those three months? And it's the highest one. So, and then you have to look at the sheet to say, okay, these are the ones that I'm eligible for. Does that make sense? So it's the highest title. So like if you were a director in February, then you wouldn't get any bonuses. But if your highest title was, you know, in January and that was team leader. Um, yeah, Rachel. Right? Rachel, unmute yourself if you still yeah. understand, because I'm sure you're not the only one that doesn't. <laughs> okay, so if I was a senior stylist in December, January, February, do yep. I look at the new comp plan on your, under senior stylist and go from there for my bonuses? Or do I convert the senior stylist before that qualification? Do I convert that into the new comp plan? And that's where I'd be starting from. Is that no. what, what does it say that you are in the virtual office? Well, so if are you, are you just asking for the bonuses, right? Yes. Yeah. So for the bonuses, if you looked, so if December, January, February, your highest rank was a uh, senior stylist, you are eligible. I believe, I can't remember if it's the senior stylist that can get all of them or if it, that goes up to the elite stylist. Anybody on here? I think senior size can get all of them, right? Margaret, I have it in front of me. Um, this yeah. is Rachel. 
Um, it says if your highest paid rank was senior stylist, you're eligible for all of these bonuses other than yeah. the senior stylist bonus. So since you've already yeah. been senior stylist, you mm -hmm. wouldn't get a bonus for hitting it again, even though the qualifications are somewhat different, but you are still eligible um, for the other bonuses above the senior stylist bonus. So if I was senior stylist in the old comp plan, yep. then I am senior stylist in the new comp plan but just for bonuses. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct. That's, yes. that I don't want you to get confused. Eligible. You're yeah. eligible for the like elite stylist and above bonuses. So that's kind of like where you want to focus on. So you want to focus on doing the elite. Okay. Does I think that, I got it. Thank you. Does that make sense? That one's confusing because the old comp plan was senior stylist and the new comp plan senior stylist. You know what I mean? So it makes it like, ah, yeah, you know, so I want to just make sure that, you know, it's not your rank that you're coming in. It's the boat, the one-time bonus. Cause yeah. that's when it gets confusing. Right. Right. This is we're why they should have changed the name. Yeah, like I know. Names. Yeah. They should, they should have yeah. changed all the names, but you know, it, yeah. It is it is. And, um, but yeah, like that, we really wanted to make sure you guys knew about these cash bonuses because it's mm -hmm. something that you can earn, you know, as a senior stylist and, above can i just add a little a little something that my leaders and i were chatting about this is rachel latinet sorry i'm about to leave for an appointment and getting ready but um anyway so i've had some leaders wondering why they don't earn bonus these one-time bonuses but remember these one-time bonuses are really supposed to encourage our lower lower level stylists and get them amped up and excited and advancing early and earning bonuses until they reach that leadership level which our leadership levels are now earning approximately what 30 percent more just at those levels. So even though they're not earning, even though the leadership, you know, the team, the, the bonuses, the one-time bonuses stop at, um, what is it, senior team leader. Um, but once you're there and above, you're automatically going to be making more from your paycheck because of the way the new comp plan is working, if that makes sense. So don't think that if you're a leader and you're not earning these one-time bonuses, don't think that you're getting the shaft, you're still going to be earning more with the new comp plan um, on average. Um, I think they said about 30%. Yeah, because once you hit director, then you're getting mm -hmm. paid on all, you get right. paid on all your levels. So right. you can see that like they're make they're making it, they're kind of incentivizing the ranks below you. Um, which to, makes you advance, which helps right. you also earn those leadership bonuses. Well, so everyone wins. Right. everyone wins. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Um, what other questions do you, do you guys have? Raise your hand or you can unmute yourself as well. I see Amanda has a question. So it's in December, January, February, my high, my highest rank I hit was team leader, but in the VO it's saying director under highest title, which yeah, that happened to a lot of people, but no, you can get the bonus, the senior team leader bonus because they took Jan December, January, in February because those were like really low months so even though like you were a director at one point you still get because they just took those months because those were really kind of like eh months so how cool is that right so even though you were a director but you were a team leader you still can get that bonus which I think is awesome that they took the months that were kind of bad instead of taking like a really good month and said like ah right so Kudos to you because you get to get possibly six hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, that's that's sweet. Um, what other questions do you guys have? I want to also. I'm going to look at the comp plan. Um, uh, the the FAQs and make sure we covered it all. Is there anything we didn't cover, leaders, that you feel like we need to mention? I think you're right, Kelly, where it's kind of like, I would look at your rank that you feel like you're going to come in as and maybe like the one above mm -hmm. and just like know everything about it. Um, this that color street planning guide, like this one is really good. I feel like that one and the one that you saw, like the one at a glance and just kind of like dissect it, you know what I mean? And, you know, really kind of know like, all right, what am I gonna get paid? So if like I'm a team leader, I'm getting paid three levels, but I'm also getting paid seven, five and 2%, what 
What happens if I go the next level up, which is just senior team leader? Okay, I get paid on four levels, but look at it, it jumps up. Like I can get double the pay on level three because it goes from two to 4%. So it is very like strategic on, um, you know, a uh, comp plan where you could probably figure out if you go into the VO, like as your month goes on, especially if you have a team, to look at volumes by level because it's going to give you that amount. And then you can say to yourself, you know, okay, maybe I need to like push a little bit harder because I could get paid 4% off of that level of three. That's really killing it down there. And my level four, you know, so maybe just take a look at where you are and really kind of focus on how can I maximize where I'm at, <laughs> you know, like, that's how I kind of like looked at it. I was like, I don't need to know, like, you know, yeah. I'm not a national, right. so I'm not going yeah. there. Yeah. Don't worry about all that. Yeah. But just I will say, know. I do have to say, I feel like director is where you start getting paid on the generation bonuses. And those are the highest portion of my paycheck. So I would definitely work towards hitting director because that's when you start getting those generation bonuses. Um, and, and I just feel like that's when you start seeing more, mo more money. <laughs> um, I, let's talk about placement really quick, because I think that's important that we cover that, um, because that's going to change a little bit as well. Um, I know that's here on the, oh, okay. There's a question. It says, will leaders be able to make, this is just on the FAQ. So you guys all have access to this answer, but it says, will leaders be able to make placements and what are the requirements? So this is going to, it says starting in May. So literally next month, um, after the commissions are finalized, stylists must have a paid rank of senior team leader or above in order to make placements. So it's going from team leader to senior team leader. Um, but remember that all the, all the names are totally like, they're not the same. <laughs> um, and then it says, in addition, there will be a rule regarding where the placements can be made to ensure that the new stylists get the support they need. So during the transition period, new stylists can be placed directly under. Um, so this only applies to senior team leaders and above. So if that's not you, you can just check out for a minute. Um, but so senior team leaders and above will be able to make placements. And then it says during the transition period, new stylists can be placed directly under a, a stylist with a paid rank of senior team builder or above. And then, so basically you can only place if you're a senior team, uh, senior team leader, and then as a senior team leader during the transition period, you can only place them under a senior team builder or above. And then um, during, and then when it happens in October, you can only place them under a team leader or above. So there's definitely gonna be some changes there to placements, um, which is why I'm saying, you guys, this is the last month where we have the, the old comp plan where we can place them anywhere as long as you're a team leader and above, as long as you qualified for that last month, you can place them anywhere and you can build that fourth leg that you will need in October if you are, what was it, director, director and above, right? So anyway, this, again, this only applies to like director and above, but um. That's just something to consider because this is the last month to really like try to get some get some people to join your team and and build that fourth leg while you have a little more freedom in how you place. Does that make sense? Hopefully that makes sense. And if it doesn't, um, print off the FAQs or ask your upline. Um, and again, it only really applies to like people who can place anyways. So, so Amanda, why don't you share what you just shared? Why don't you say that uh, vocally? I know you shared it in the chat, but let's hear it vocally. We just want to hear oh, your voice. I know, but I'm covering it from allergies. 
So um, what I shared with my team is they are all concerned about like where to even start. Like that all sounds great. When you get down to it and time to map out your map, you're like, well, what map do I even pull? So I thought let's break it down and look at your March group volume, capped group volume, focus on your caps. Your big volume's great and dandy, but, but we're focusing on cap, okay? And so you're going to look at March's cap. You can find that in your virtual office. And you're going to take the maps for the new plan that that falls into. For instance, my cap last month was like right over 50,000. So what I did was I pulled the map that which, whichever rank is like 3,000, I mean 30,000 cap. I can't remember which one that is. Senior director maybe or senior team leader. I don't know which one. One of those things. It's a senior director, yeah. So see. senior director, so I pulled that. See, you need, you need the handy thing. And then I pulled the one right above it, which, uh, what's the one right above it, Kelly? Again, I haven't, I have not memorized it, but it is, it's elite director. So I pulled those two maps. I printed both of those off. So one, I know that I achieved that cat volume from last month. So if I have the teammates in place, it's doable again but I also want to shoot further and try to hit goals, not saying I'll hit that next map because it's, you know, it's kind of a big jump yeah. um, from 30,000 to 60,000. And so, but you have it in your, in your eyesight of what to do, go forward. So well, also with that yesterday, I learned that a lot of people um, who were watching this and wanting to learn and wanting to grow, there's not a map for some of their ranks. But then we learned today in, our other group, Kelly, that I mean, you were there, that um, they're working on maps or trackers for those other ranks as well. So that will be helpful in planning it. But go ahead and look at your past March, and then that's a great place to start. Because I had no clue to where even to start. I, mean, I, yeah, like, I, I love know. that. That's such good so. advice. That's really great advice. Um, and, and the rank trackers are gold, you guys. Like, that is what we we used at the beginning of Color Street. We had our rank trackers. We printed them off. We filled them out with pencil. You know, we would strategize and all and those things. And um, they're still so helpful. So print off your rank tracker, um, and and hopefully they'll they'll have yours uh, for that marketing phase really soon. Um, and, and then just start like strategizing, okay, who am I going to work with? Who, who, uh, how do I get this type of group volume? If it's, if it's only, you know, if you don't have a team, then how can I do this personally myself? How can I get 1250 in group volume personally myself? Start strategizing and, and making plans so that you can move up those levels, can get those cash bonuses and just really maximize the comp plan. The more you know about the comp plan, the more you're gonna be able to maximize on it. Um, and also Shannon Katie mentioned something that I wanna make sure we mentioned in the chat. She said you can only place on your first, why don't you share it Shannon? Are you there? This is back to placement, I'm jumping around. Sorry, I look like a hot mess cause I have been traveling. So I you're fine. don't get to see me, but um, once the transition period is over, you when you can place, you will only be able to place on their first level. So before we got to place anywhere in that person's organization where we made the placement, and when the new comp plan takes place out of the transition, you will only be able to place on that person's first level. So pretty much right under them. Okay. Yeah. So stuff to stuff to think about. Stuff to. <laughs> remember that it's come coming into play in October. Um, all right. Is there anything else that, that you leaders feel like we need to, uh, I feel like I haven't heard from all the leaders here, but is there anything else that you leaders feel like? Is can I, can I just say something really quickly? I yes, just want to say as a leader, I have never been more excited to be part of color street than I am right now. It's, like a rebirth. So if you have people who have mentioned to you in the past, like, oh, I wish I would have joined when you first asked me, circle back to those people because this is almost as new as we're going to get. Um, it's like a rebirth. And so just be really excited because I, for one, I'm looking at, you know, um, 
my situation, I just recently became separated. I'm going to be a divorced mom and, you know, really scared about the future. But when I started really breaking down this comp plan, this is more doable than ever. So be excited. This is something to embrace and um, just know that we're all here to help support one another, get to wherever you want to be with this company. Yeah. I just, I feel like it's going to build. I mean, this is at the beginning of color street for those of us that were here on day one. Um, there was so much momentum. Like it was just like, boom, we're ring advancing again. Boom. We're and I feel like this is what this new comp plan has created is there's just going to be a lot of, I feel like a lot of rank advancements because of the way that it's set up. Um, especially in that marketing phase for the, for, you know, uh, qualified, like qualified stylist, senior stylist, elite stylist, especially, you know, that phase where you can earn those cash bonuses, that's going to be so exciting. So, um, I hope you guys get excited, but there's one more thing I want to make sure we know about. This is another thing that I, um, I think may have been overlooked, but related to, to stylist inactivity, I'm just going to read you guys this so I don't butcher it at all. And then we'll discuss it really quick. Um, so this is in the FAQs of the virtual office. It said, what are the new rules related to stylist inactivity? And it says two updated rules um, regarding, in fact, I'm going to share my screen so you guys can see this too, if you're a visual person like me. Uh, here we go. Can you guys see that? Okay. It says, what are the new rules? It says two updated rules regarding stylist activity were shared, um, in February. March is the first month from which stylist activity will count towards the new rules. So this applied, this started last month. It says roll-ups. If a stylist does not achieve a cumulative personal volume of 300 or more, so that meaning they have to be a qualified stylist in a rolling three month period, any of their downline stylists will be rolled up to the sponsor. Since, so that means if you have someone that doesn't sell anything in three consecutive months, three months in a row, then their team, anyone on their team will roll up to the sponsor. Um, so, and then it says, since March is the first month, counting towards the, the rules, stylists who do not achieve a cumulative TV of 300 or more um, in March, April, and May will have their downline rolled up when we finalize May commissions. So keep that in mind. And then deact regarding deactivation, if a stylist has, a, has zero PV for six consecutive months, the stylist will be de deactivated. Um, and then it said, since March is the first month counting towards the rule, stylists who have zero PV from March through August will be deactivated when we finalize August commissions. So that's kind of changed a little bit um, <clears throat> for people that are just completely not even working the business at all. Any questions or comments about that? All right, cool. Any other final questions or anything before we wrap it up uh, or comments from leaders regarding this? Like I said, print this bad boy off, memorize it, and just focus on where you're at and where you're going. I think that's the big thing. Um, Rachel, you have a final question. What's that? So I know at one point they changed it to where you're, you're, not qualified as a stylist anymore. Can't, when you're deactivated, if you have zero PV for two months, that changed to six months. Um, I think I believe so. Does that sound right, you guys? I mean, here it says if a stylist has zero PV for six months, the stylist will be de deactivated. That's what it says in the FAQs. Yeah, it's definitely six months, and it started in March. Like everybody got like their sleep clean in March. That's kind of how they put it. Okay, so it start it kind of started over in March. Okay, that's good to know. Um, Shannon said they have to have at least one dollar in six months to stay active, and then same with to to keep your team, you have to have at least one dollar 
in three months in a row to state what what Shannon Shannon no that's not that's not correct to keep your team you have to have a rolling 300 in three months so that means oh, you have right, to have right. 100 100 100 or 150 150 and zero 300 zero zero but as long as you've sold 300 in three months you keep your team okay see this is why I have you guys here <laughs> yes okay this is all good to you see these are all very important little details that I wanted to make sure we didn't miss um and they're just good to know right all right, any other questions or comments before we wrap it up? It's been, it's been a solid hour, but I feel like this was really helpful. And I wanna give you guys a challenge. And my challenge for you is to take time to teach someone else. You wanna know how to learn the comp plan? Teach someone else. When I was like, hey, I'm gonna do a comp plan training. I was like, crap, I need to go and read all the things and create slides and and learn more of the details and it forced me to do that and so I want to challenge you if you're a leader do a comp plan training to your your team um if you have like one of you know even if you have one person on your team tell them hey let's do a call and talk about the comp plan and see if you have any questions you could do like a coaching call but I promise you you'll learn it more when you teach it because there's a little more pressure right so that's my challenge for you guys. Thanks leaders so much for hopping on and helping with this. I appreciate you so much. And let's make the most of this comp plan. It's going to be amazing. All right. Thanks everyone. Bye.